uh, guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing you another Team of the Season Silver Player review. Today we're going to be looking at Vincent Cosiello, who is a player that is getting so much hype in the French League at the moment. He's had a terrific season for Nice, and he's he's one of those players that's getting a lot of praise. And I've what, I, you know, sometimes when you only hear about a guy, you see YouTube clips of him, and you think. Yeah, but is he good when you watch him? Well, I've watched this guy like about three or four times this season, and he really dictated the game, which is awesome, considering he's only like, is he just turned 20? Or he might still be 19 years old. Absolutely awesome. He's kind of well known on FIFA for being the guy who links perfectly to Ben Arthur. That Ben Arthur team of the season card looks awesome. If I used golds, he'd definitely be one I went to, but obviously silvers are where I live. And anyway, guys, if you haven't checked out any of the other team of the season silver player reviews, any of the informed silver player reviews, or if you're looking forward to the next episode of Silver Plated Hybrids, Definitely subscribe or stay tuned. And let's look at Cosiello. 72 pace, 80 dribbling, 60 shooting, 84 passing, 55 physical, and 56 defending. Now he's five foot six with three star weak foot and three star skill moves, cost just over 20k. And let's go and have a look at his in-game stats. Now, his mental and physical stats, 95 agility, 94 balance. That is absolutely mental. You've got to also look at his vision. Now, this card doesn't have the best all-round stats, but he has some really standout ones like his long passing and short passing, his crossing, his dribbling. So everything for his dribbling, like his, as I said, his agility and balance are very good. And I need to just point out, uh, just be, well, I'll, I'll look at this first, but he, he can play medium, medium. He's medium, medium work rates. He can play centre mid or CDM. Five foot six, as I said, and he's quite light as well. He plays for France. Now, 85 vision on a player that is silver is actually quite rare. Now, I know you might not believe me, but there's not actually that many players who have that good a vision. And I would say that really sums up this player. He has incredible passing. Like, I'm talking some of the best passing, some of the most consistent passing, some of the best range passing you have seen on a silver on any FIFA. Definitely this year, at least. Maybe I've exaggerated a little bit with any FIFA, but certainly this FIFA, he is phenomenal at passing. He will pick out a man every single time. He'll put the ball into a great position for them to run onto. And, yeah, I thought his passing was excellent. His agility and balance are really good. His dribbling's decent. It's not perfect, but his agility and balance help counteract the fact that he's so weak because he's actually quite hard to knock off the ball. He's not going to win anything against anyone if they're running side by side. But if he's already got the ball... He holds on to it quite well. He's really good at doing sort of like little one-twos with people. And, he, and his positioning is good enough for him to sort of like... He makes the runs that you want him to make. He like darts forward. And he gets into good positions for you. Unfortunately, his shooting is dire. Like, it's absolutely, it's really bad. Like, I, I occasionally hit the post and stuff. But that, that was about as exciting as it got, to be honest. His finishing in the box was pretty poor. Always hitting the post. Always hitting the keeper. But overall, this player is a passer of the football. He's not a CDM. Because he's not good enough defensively. He's not really a cam because he's not good enough at shooting. Although he could play him at cam because he's creative enough. But I would say he is a centre mid. He's the sort of player, if you like pacey wingers, if you like pacey strikers and you want someone to pick them out every time, you want someone to break through someone's defences with like incredible three balls and long three balls and all that sort of stuff, this is the guy for you because he's actually really talented. You can see his positives and negatives there. I've sort of gone through a lot of them. He stays on his feet well. That's a real positive. I've said he feels like a 75 to a 78. He's not really... He's not going to absolutely change everything you've thought of in any FIFA. He's not that sort of player because he sort of drifts in and out of games a little bit. If you use him in the way that he's meant to be, you'll enjoy him. If you sort of just put him in the team and expect him to score you loads of goals or break up loads of attacks, as many people do, then don't get too excited. But I've, I've said... Using him in the correct position, I think this guy deserves an 8.1 out of 10. And I actually really enjoyed him, and I probably would use him again. Anyway, guys, for end chat today, I know a lot of people were disappointed that League One didn't get, a, you know, it, it wasn't on its own, but in previous FIFAs, this is so. But this year, it got a full team of the season, which is awesome. The Eredivisie didn't. Pro League didn't. Which league deserved a full team of the season release, but didn't get one? A lot of people complain the Saudi League got a full one, but that's the way it is. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers, guys.